All right, I think we're live. Hopefully you can hear me if there's people on. Let me know, that would be great. This is my first time doing a live anything, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. So if you have any comments as we go, let me know. That would be wonderful. I'm still trying to figure out how to tell who is all watching and if people are watching. Hmm. Today we're doing a question and answer. I'm here to answer any of the questions you guys have about exercises you can be doing at home, things you can be using. Um, really, it's going to be pretty wide open for any questions. I'll do my best to answer um, anything you guys have. Hopefully I'm not lagging or cutting in and out and you guys can all hear me. Really have no idea if there's anybody on right now. Getting a loading screen on my mouse here. All right, well, I'm just going to kind of go ahead and continue on. So if you guys have questions, please feel free to ask ask away in the comments here. I think I have them pulled up on the sides now so I can see anything you guys put up. First thing I'm going to go through is just different kinds of exercises you can be doing and ways to do them at home. Um, so there's really three different types of exercises. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate with a squat. Um, for example, if you're just doing a regular squat, I'll kind of demonstrate and step back here a little bit. You have a regular, ooh, I got to tilt the camera down here. There we go, maybe you can see that a little better. All right, so you can do a regular squat, just going down, knees push out, coming up and down, nice and easy. I'll do about three or four of each. So that's your regular, and then you can go into an eccentric, so which is really, we call them tempos. Sometimes over in the TPC side, we call it a tempo squat, so you're going slow on the way down. Really trying to activate those muscles, so it's going to help a lot. It's going to make those muscles more sore, and it's going to work uh, more of the hamstrings instead of the quads on a squat. So when you're counting on the way down, you're going one, two, three, four, coming back up, nice and slow, under control. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and I'll do one more one for you. One, two, three, and four. Perfect. So that's two of the three. So we've got regular or also known as concentric. We've got eccentric and the last one is isometric. I don't want to get too technical with you. But the last one is just holding a stable. So you're either holding a squat down in the squat, squat position or you're doing something like a wall sit where you're not moving, but you have those muscles activated. So just the isometric one would be nice and easy. Holding it down the bottom. Hold it here for five, ten seconds. Really trying to squeeze everything. Stay in a good position. Strong flat back. This is just an example for the squat. Coming up, shake them out, do a few of those. Those will make sure you get your legs nice and sore. Just a different variation you guys can do um, while you're doing a squat at home so you're not doing the same exercises every single time. Let's see if we got any questions up here right now. I don't see any yet. Hopefully, you got some people watching here. I can't tell. Right, so I'm going to go into a couple things you can use that are pretty easy. Um, things that I have around here, I've got a basket just kind of full of stuff. You can see there's a bunch of random stuff in here, but it's really easy and a good, a good thing to use um, for your back. Doing something like a row. So if you're doing a bent over row, again, you want that strong flat back, but you can just pull them up, squeezing the shoulders in the back. Hold on top for a second. This is a really easy way um, to, to work that back. And it's an easy way to do variations. You don't have to have it full of stuff. You can do an empty basket to start out nice and light. You can put a few things in there. Um, you can put it full of stuff. If you have bricks and you want to do something really heavy, you can do that as well. So that's one easy thing. Baskets are great for, for back exercises. 
Um, you can try to use them for a push, um, anything like that. Baskets are really easy to use. Another thing for some weight, extra weight. So you had our variations on the squat. You wanted to throw on a backpack. Again, another thing you can put in, anything like that. Coming in nice and slow, under control. You've got that under control there. Um, but you got a little bit extra weight now too. With the backpack, again, depending what you put in there, you can put anything, you can put nothing. It just helps give a little bit extra. Now you've got that weight on the back though, so you're gonna have to lean a little bit more forward in the squat motion. Making sure we still keep that good posture, that good form, trying to work those legs. All right, so that's two things we can use. Something a little bit more unique. Those are more leg and back. I've got a handy little bag of potatoes here. So I don't know how many pounds it weighs or how many it was. Uh, looks like it was five pounds. We've used quite a few, so maybe you got three, three pounds in here or so. Uh, but holding on to this here, and another easy way, doing bicep curls. You can do a front raise, a lateral raise, anything. Uh, just got it's just a few pounds, an overhead push. I'll try not to hit my fan here. Uh, but it just says it's just a, a little bit extra resistance and weight that you can use around the house. Um, these are really simple things, just kind of laying around that I found that are really easy. Um, things I've seen and used in the past are uh, a milk jug um, or a water jug. Um, you can use those. It's got that handle right there. Perfect for doing anything. Upper body wise, doing a push, um, like an overhead push press, like I was just doing there at the end with the potatoes. Um, doing something out with a lateral raise would be super easy um, with the jug. A lot of people like to um, tie a string onto it, onto like a stick or a rope, um, and do a wrist curl with a milk jug. That's a really great one. Um, if you're holding it out in front, I don't have one with me, but if you're holding the milk jug, you got the, the handle in your hands and the string down to the jug. Doing a wrist curl like this is really going to work your shoulders because you have to keep them up here nice and tight, keeping those arms locked in, and your forearms are going to get a really good burn from that. Um, so that's another easy thing that I've seen people use. Um, feel free to ask questions. Um, hopefully you guys have some, maybe some things that you've used around the house. Feel free to comment on what you've been using um, or things you can use that you've found that work really well for a certain exercise, could be anything. Um, we're just trying to share as much information with you guys as we can um, to hopefully continue to get you guys um, to stay healthy, stay fit, um, try not to go crazy during this time a little bit, and just have, have a little fun with the exercises, making them unique, something you've never done before, um, try something new. Um, that's all sorts of good stuff there. I'm not seeing any questions so far. Um, Trying to think if there's anything else around here that I've used before. The stairs, uh, I know I posted a video, or it was posted on our uh, Advocate Broman at Home website, and then also on the Facebook page a while back. I think it was last week sometime. Um, the stairs are really great for the legs. There's a whole bunch of different variations. I go through quite a few different side lunges, step ups, curtsy lunges, squat jumps, all sorts of fun stuff, calf raises, getting trying to get everything included for you. So that there's um, also many different things that you can, uh, you know, work in those legs. A lot of times when we're at home and we're not using weights or we're not using resistance bands like we might be at the center, um, it's a lot easier to try to find things to work the upper body and the legs don't feel like they're doing as much. Um, so those stairs are really going to be um, kind of your best friend when it comes to the exercise um, for the legs. Um, other things you can do, I know on our TPC Instagram page, um, Coach TJ has been putting on some different leg exercises that are super easy. Um, when you're able to, getting outside in the nice weather, going for a walk, going for a jog, um, walking the dog, anything like that, it does get those legs moving, gets the heart rate up, very good for you, very good for your health. Um, I see a comment or two on here, no questions. Thank you guys for watching so far. Um, just got a little bit left. Um, other things we can use to exercise with anything that hold that has weight, anything you can use um, that you can hold on to, if it's a jug or anything like that. Um, I have a mason jar kind of sitting next to me. I only have a little some plastic stuff in there, but you can fill it up with anything that you have and use this as it's. You can kind of hold on to it there and use it for other simple things. Um, when it comes to this time, working on simple is almost better than trying to get crazy and complex. 
that's when we tend to hurt ourselves doing over overdoing it and doing too much. Um, kind of gets a little bit crazy there sometimes. So trying to go a little bit more simple, um, working on smaller muscles, just working on the activation, the eccentric stuff at the beginning, doing a tempo, a three second down on a squat. Same with if you're going to do a push up, three seconds down. On the row, it would also, most times it's three seconds down because eccentric is working with the gravity. Um, but it's really great, a great way to kind of strengthen those muscles and it's more time under tension. Uh, so your muscles are activated longer holding that weight. Um, so it's a really great thing to do there. Um, tomorrow, we have another workout coming at 10 o'clock with Coach Allie, I believe. She's doing a partner resistance band. And then Friday, we have another question and answer. So feel free. Um, to come with multiple questions for Coach Zoe on Friday. Uh, I'm not seeing any questions on here, so I want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I gave you some tips and some exercises and maybe some things you can use at home around the house um, that you haven't thought of before and, and can get a, a little bit different workout in and change things up a little bit. All right, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe.